these uncertain times, the zombie outbreak continues to spread across the globe. There is one item that is sought after more than anything. And inside this canister lies the last Twinkie known to man. <laughs> this Twinkie must be defended at all costs. And today we find out if the military can essentially contain the last Twinkie or if that Twinkie will fall into the hands of the enemy. Let's find out. Welcome back to Tabs. I thought about doing another zombie thing, but I mean, I've been doing lots of zombie stuff. And so I thought, let's take the modern faction here and let's pit them against all, all the factions and see if there's a faction that can essentially steal the Twinkie and get the Twinkie. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. I think, you know, and I thought about doing toilet paper, but that's, you know, I think that's, you know, uh, that's an obvious problem right now. So I thought, oh, they do the Twinkie thing in, uh, in, what's that? Zombieland. And so, you know, the Twinkie thing. And uh, so I thought, yeah, okay, let's do Twinkies instead. Or Twinkie, one Twinkie. One Twinkie's left and it's in there. You just have to imagine it, okay? They've, they've, they're defending the last Twinkie, and uh, we're gonna find out what happens here. 123 tribal units, because I'm pretty sure that all of these guys in the front here are gonna get mowed down, like, extremely fast. I don't think that the, the tribal faction is gonna be able to breach this line. Although, I did put a lot of mammoths in, and I thought, you know, the mammoths, I could see... Maybe making their way. I also got rid of the spikes because I felt like that was a little too much to keep them. You know, you gotta you gotta let them have at least some kind of a chance. <gasps> the mammoths are. Oh no, the mammoths are done. The minigun guys. I mean, they put their best units in the front, and we also have snipers in the sniper tower with Chaytax, and so I'm pretty sure that the tribal faction is not gonna be able to get. <laughs> the mammoths can't even get up, and you know what? They uh. These, these factions are fighting for the Twinkie before the zombies come. And so if all of us fails, I guess we'll do a zombie battle at the end. Yeah, they failed. Now, this could get a little interesting here. We've got the farmer faction. And there are uh, lots of hay balers on one side. Wheelbarrows. Scarecrows. And then on the other side, we have like pretty much all the units. And uh, I don't think... That, oh gosh, they're going to destroy them. I don't think that the... Uh, hay balers can withstand it but the potion sellers oh look at the shield wow i didn't realize how good the shield units were they literally deflect like everything look at the, even the bird the bird can't even get to him can they shoot the bird down oh gosh he got birded is that a word he got hit by the bird what's the other side looking like the other side oh gosh this is hard to kind of do both sides track both sides at one time hay balers are getting wrecked. Scarecrows are still up. There's apples still flying through the air. But the miniguns, they, they gotta get... I don't think they can get through this line. I don't think any faction's gonna be able... Well, I don't know. Maybe. There's a chance. It could happen. Guys, today's... Uh, this week's videos are gonna be pretty good, I think. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, a little bit more time. Obviously, check out Tabs HQ 2, the second channel. As uh, I'm gonna be probably trying to do like two videos a day over there. Given the fact that I have a little bit more time, I think. Uh, maybe not, though. I don't know. Things don't, things don't, haven't really changed for me because I can still do both. I'm still doing both my jobs. Um, you know, things are pretty much the same. Just. A little bit different for the family average i hope you guys are all safe healthy everything's going well um all right, all right the scarecrow what's happening over here oh they took out the whole line uh oh watch your back dude these guys have a lot of hp we don't have any flamethrower units on here either uh oh the birds the birds do you ever see that movie gosh what a terrifying movie there's still a lot of units left. Uh oh. We gotta. I might have to possess. Oh no. We. Oh, I forgot. We had snipers still. Snipers are still doing their doing work up there. The minigun unit is advancing. Oh, he got hit again by the bird. It's like they don't even care. Oh, they got them all. 
The minigun units have a lot of HP. They're like, don't you touch our Twinkie. Oh wow, they stopped him. Things might get interesting here. We've got knights. Knights can breach the lines. They can charge. We've got a healer and a king, archers. And the other side, we've got catapults. Uh, knight, lots, lot more knights. I think these guys, this, there's a lot less units than the other ones too. These guys may be able to breach the line here. Wow, the catapult blast took out all the shield units. Oh, it's just the end. Just a minigun. Oh, never mind. The minigun's mowing them down. What? <gasps> they mowed all these guys down there. He, the minigun unit turned. The other one turned around. He's like, screw those guys. What? That was over. The farmers lasted longer than that. I thought that the the knights would really uh, do some work there. Apparently not. 100 units, ballistas, snake archers, hoplites, sarissa's shield units, minotaurs, and zeus. Uh, this could be different. The minotaurs alone, the minotaurs are a more effective knight, essentially. They're gonna like rush right through. And then the snake archers, I'm gonna watch it from ahead, up, uh, ahead above. The snake archers are gonna cause some distraction for sure. We got minutes. Okay, the Minotaurs are definitely doing some work. Although, the minigun unit, he might take them all out. Yeah, look at him. He's mowing them down. The ballista? How, the ballista, how are the ballistas working over here? A lot of units dying. Snake archers causing some distraction. Not a lot, though. Not as much as you would think. Minotaur, I think Zeus is probably dead. I don't know. I think maybe the only faction that's going to be able to do it is going to be the Dynasty or the Renaissance faction. I'm looking at the Renaissance faction as a potential. They deflect everything. The snakes are putting up some effort. Some, this one hoplite is somehow alive still. Just hanging out there. How is he? Oh, they got him. I was like, how is this guy alive still? They took them all out at the same time. I think the snipers are really doing some work. All right, this will be interesting to see what happens here. We've got the Viking faction. We've got lots of Valkyries on one side. Jarls, Berserkers, which I think will cause some ma massive problems because they're going to jump up in there, I, even on this side. And so this, I'm very curious to see. There go the Berserkers. Lots of them, too. I tried to put a lot in here just to make some massive problems for these guys. Look at the Valks. Oh, the minigun unit's shooting all the Valks down. Gosh, they got a lot of HP. They just wiped out the Valkyrie units like it was nothing. Oh, look at this side, though. They are... They have breached the line. Oh, no. If the Jarls would come up to the top, they might be able to do something. Look at them. They just get... The high ground really works well. Because they can't get past the bodies. And even if they could, it would take a lot to take out the minigun units. Because they've got a lot of HP. Wow, I thought that was looking good there with the Berserkers. I kind of want to do it again and just do a ton of Berserkers and see if the Berserkers have the ability to, like, just rush and get over the edge. Like, I'm just going to put a ton in here. And actually take them out. I don't know if it's going to happen though. I thought the Valkyries would do a little bit more work than what they did. Okay, 85 on one side. Let's just see. I'm going to load it up. Let's just really test out their, their strength here. Okay, let's do that. Because that's about the first, the first grouping. Are they all jumping? Oh my gosh, they're all jumping at once. <laughs> Holy crap. That's insane. That's a lot of Berserkers. Even if they even if they manage to take them out all out, they can't get up the stairs to take out the take out the snipers, and so essentially they will always win. Although they could just take the Twinkies and run away. Don't touch my Twinkie! <laughs> Jeez, the minigun unit! Oh, here they come to the minigun unit. They're just gonna like surround them and case them. Oh, they took one out. I mean, look at how many Berserkers it takes to take out one minigun unit. 
What the heck, dude? He took down so many. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that the Viking faction did not do it. Although, look at them. They're up in the tower. Oh, they're actually up there, but the snipers are taking them out. The, the snipers came down to fight. They haven't been doing that. Jeez Louise, that's awesome. This is the one I'm curious about, the Dynasty faction. Whether or not they're going to be able to block those shots and if the watches can take them out. They're definitely blocking the bullets. They're not going to be able to block all of them. But they can, the, the riot shield is blocking the firework archers. These guys are like deadly. They are, look at them blocking all that. Those guys are, those guys are the challenge right there. The projectiles getting through that and then obviously having to deal with like the machine gun units they're definitely lasting the longest like the first initial wave oh yes oh yes they're breaching they're breaching samurai are up there those ride shield guys are still holding it holding the fort down though okay this definitely went different than what i thought was going to happen I thought they were gonna, that side's got through. I thought they were gonna be able to breach real easily. But those stinking riot shield guys are really causing some problems. Whoa, they got wrecked actually. They just were able to initially last longer, but they just got destroyed. They can't even penetrate the riot shield line. The monkey king's up there, but he's gonna die quick. Wow. I th I, that's surprising to me. I thought they were going to do really well. Okay, I amped it up with the Renaissance faction. There's a lot of musket men in here. We're going to see if they can, what they can do and if they do anything. The painters are going to be dodging left and right. The musket, they just block everything. But the, the jousters are going to cause some chaos. That's going to be good. To breach the line and then it's going to be a different story with those musketeers. Jousters have gotten through. The painters are doing work. Dude, the painters are... Don't trifle with the painters, man. They're, they're deadly. The Renaissance faction might get the Twinkie here. If they get the Twinkie, the video's over. The video ends when they touch the Twinkie. When they steal the Twinkie. Actually, the video ends when they kill all the units. Oh, gosh. The, the minigun guys. The balloon guys? Okay. Oh, he's getting blasted by the musketeers. He's still alive. That's what's impressive. The freaking minigun guys. Brutal. They got one. Ooh, the Renaissance faction. <gasps> the, the video's over. They stole the Twinkie. It's over. The Renaissance faction have st have stolen the Twinkie. And they're gonna... There's only one, though. Who, who gets the Twinkie? Oh, Da Vinci. He's not even on the battlefield. He didn't even come. But they, they got it for Da Vinci. Ah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.